you know, you you talked earlier. I want to talk about another guy, and I don't know if you consider him to be a comedian or just somebody who was on a, a very funny show. But when you were coming out of, uh, let's call it your down period, let's call it your scary movie period, you you got cast for two years on the Justice. Yes, yes. Um, that was great. That was great, man. That was great. I worked with Sherman, uh, Isabel, Roger Roker, Ma, um, um, uh, Ma, uh, a lot of Michelle, myself. You know what I mean? My, uh, uh, Flo. Like, Flo, Flo. Who are we talking about, though? The, 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 uh, Roxy's Flo. husband on the show? Uh, Audrey Oh, Marla Gibbs. Uh, Marla Gibbs. Oh, Gibbs. man, that was a great time. I really loved it. And they, um, 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 Norman Lear rewrote to put me in it. He had to rewrite it. He made me a, a school person, a guy going to school who had sort of tricked Sherman, uh, Sherman and Isabel, I mean, uh, uh, George Jefferson and Isabel to send me money to go to school, right? And the thing was, um, when I, I came to visit them, right? And I let them know that some of it was a scam. And George got mad as hell, right? Right? Then I opened up this attache case. Cause I told him, I'm your son, I'm your son. He said, you're not my son. No, you're a scam artist, you're a scam artist. Then I opened up this attache case with nothing but money in it. And George said, sons! <laughs> and it was great because uh, George, I never I know, every time, there was once a day when George himself would pay for everybody to eat. He would have this Chinese restaurant he would order food from. I'm sure it cost him a lot of money, but every Wednesday, Thursday, whatever, I think it was the day of the shooting, he would order and you just eat, you know. He was great, man. He treated me great. Isabel treated me great. Roxy, uh, great, you know, um, you know, Marla Gibbs, and they were all beautiful people. I loved that show. You know. It was only a two year thing, but you know, I loved it. You know, that, that, that is one of those iconic shows, uh, not just in our community, but that, that show did really well in the ratings. You know, it's unfortunate because again, um, it was a yeah. different time. Sherman Hemsley is, well, he's rumored. I don't know if he ever came out, but I never saw that he was married or not. But but he he was a yes. homosexual male yeah. in Hollywood. You know, did, did you know, yes, did. or did any of you guys know that he was in the closet yes, at I that did. time? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I knew it a long time. Oh, so, so it was an open I knew, scene. I knew. No, I knew it long before I got on the show, I knew, you know. And um, it's it's a shame that people have to live their lives like that. Absolutely. But, you know, particularly in a world where we claim, we claim democracy is important, love and, and all of that. And, you know, there's so many people who, even right now, are trying to treat people like they're not human beings, you know. That I think the, the president Correct. leader of the Republican Party said that homosexuality will tear down, tear down the very community itself. And by the way, there's a joke that you can tell about Jesus, okay? Let me hear From 12 to the age of 30, nobody knows what he was doing. But at 30 to 33 is what you see in the Bible. And for three years, he hung out with what? Unemployed guy. Need I say more? Okay. <laughs> you can. Who got mad when he would go? Because when he would go, he would go to the Garden of Gethsemane, but then he would go to another corner. Of, and, and you know, he took with him Mary Magdalene. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.